Hey everybody, welcome back and uh, we're here for the second video in this series and today we're going to talk about org mode. Um, we're not going to really get deep into org mode. Org mode is huge. I use it for making presentations, documents. Um, I'm a teacher so I make lesson plans with it. Um, I compose emails with it. You can uh, support coding with it. Um, it's an amazing, amazing, amazing package. It's, it, it by itself is a reason to use Emacs. Um, but right now I just want to show you the basics because whenever uh, we, when we start doing real Emacs configurations and start learning how to use Emacs efficiently starting in the next video, um, I'll write up some notes and those notes are going to be in the form of an org mode file. Um, I will put a link on the blog to a video done by Harry Schwartz. He's an Emacs guy who is up in Boston right now. He had a really nice presentation that was recorded on org mode. It's about an hour, um, but it shows a lot of the things you can do with it. So it's, it's kind of cool. Um, I would definitely recommend taking a look and we'll cover some of those specifics um, later on. So uh, I also mentioned that in addition to the blog posts, we're going to have stuff up on GitHub. So uh, here it is. If you don't know GitHub, uh, don't worry about it. But um, I will have links to this from the blog so you can grab the init file. Um, and I just made a couple of changes. So let's take a look at those. Um, one change is I move this con the uh, automatically added stuff to the top, and that was pretty much it. Uh, so we're going to create a file now, so I can show you how org mode works. And the file we're going to create is going to be called readme.org. Um, if you name your files .org, uh, it'll automatically put Emacs into org mode, uh, which is uh, which is nice. You know that's kind of the desired effect here. But there are other ways of doing it as well, which we'll cover later on. And org mode, first and foremost, is a um, it's an outlining tool. And you make your outline uh, using asterisks to show levels. So maybe uh, we'll have lesson one, and then we'll have some text. Let's uh, uh, introducing the series and uh, setting up the package manager. And so we'll have a little. Uh, little list under it and we'll say something like um, you know uh, show Melpa we showed Melpa and um, uh, set up Melpa um, install try use package install to try and install which key and uh, this is going to be lesson two and lesson two is going to be show some org mode and we'll just uh, like uh, just uh, review init.el which we did and then the next thing we'll do is um, set up readme.org. I'll fill in the rest of this when um, after the video um, but let's say we have another topic here and we'll just maybe say links and uh, here's going to be a link to my blog and um, the way we specify links is there's a special key we can do control C control L it asks for the link. I'm going to give um, seslaz.github.io. It's just my blog link. And the description is here's my blog. Um, just to have something there. Now, uh, that looks like it's a link, but it's actually plain text. If I backspace, you'll see it's just made up in text. I could have just typed this without the special keys, put that square bracket back in. Uh, but here's the cool thing I can hide or I can show different parts of this. Um, maybe we'll have this, let's put a couple other things. This will be part one. And then part two will be installing some packages. Just save that for the hell of it. And notice I can expand using the tab key. I can cycle through these. I can maybe do this, hold the Alt key down arrow and move them up and down. Or I can even do that without hiding them. So just as an outlining tool, it's pretty cool. Um, I just want to move this up to here. Let's see if this works. Um, I want to go to this um, this link here. I can type Control C O, and there we go. It goes to the link. So um, there's a lot you can do here. Uh, closing that up. So let's just save this. And um, this is the format that we're going to use whenever um, I type in notes, and we'll 
we'll learn to see how this is a really powerful tool later on. So let's exit Emacs for a second. Let me add this to GitHub. If you don't use Git, don't worry about it. If you don't use GitHub, don't worry about it. But I just want to show you one other cool thing here. So I'm going to add readme.org. Added readme in org mode. I'll push it up to GitHub. And It, uh, there we go, uh, readme.org. But notice that um, GitHub is set up to automatically show readme files. Here's that link to my blog. I will open it in another tab. Uh, but notice that it shows it really nice. It, it really formats it. So that's kind of a nice little feature. So let's just make a couple of other little modifications here. I'm going to go back into that readme file. And notice that it, um, it showed it all collapsed here. And, I don't like that. Um, oh, I sometimes like it. But in this case, I'd like it to open up all expanded. So I can put a special control up here called startup, and I'll, I'll put show all. And there are various options that you can put in for this. And now if I reload the file, and I could reload it by exiting Emacs and coming back in, but I can also use the command revert buffer. Escape X or revert buffer. And now when it loads the file, it loads it all, all open. And the other one I'm going to show is hide stars. Save it, revert buffer. And that just kind of makes it a little bit nicer because um, you end up getting, you know, it, it just basically hides the extra stars. It makes it look like more of an outline. And one last thing I'm also going to show is there's a cool package. If we go to Melba, we can look up org-bullets and that'll give us these nice bullets for org mode. So we're just going to find our Emacs and we'll go to init.el and uh, semicolons are common so org mode stuff and let's use package org-bullets ensure t so it'll ensure that it's installed and then the config is going to be a single line. It's going to be this line. So we'll cut that, paste it. Well, that's just control Y to paste. Um, that's that, uh, saved it. Let's exit. And now let's just load Emacs plane. And let's load readme.org. And we get the nice bullets here. Um, so that's the very basics of org mode. Just wanted to show you this so you know what's going on when you see this format. Um, next video, we're going to probably talk about a little bit about ELISP, just so you understand how these configurations work. And then we're going to jump into navigation and the way I like navigating through Emacs efficiently, um, using the built-in tools, using some packages. Then we'll go on from there. So I'm hoping that you're getting stuff out of this. Um, please leave comments uh, in the blog or leave comments on the video about uh, what you want to see, what could be helpful, uh, hints of your own. Um, and we'll see you next time. Okay, thanks.